Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and I am sorry for the late post, but I had a very, very long day and I had to take a nap. So let's get rolling with all the fun news that I'm going to show you on this edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. What a fun day I had, waking up early, going to the dentist. So hey, let's go start off with that. So for the last couple weeks, I've been going to the dentist. I've been getting fitted for one of those night guards. They keep saying that I've been grinding my teeth. Now, every time I go to the dentist, I feel they always want to push something on me, whether I need a new toothbrush, whether I need a new water pick, whether I need to start flossing my teeth a bit more. Who has time for flossing? You know, it only takes a couple seconds, so maybe I do. But I had to spend some money and get a night guard. Now, the first time I got this night guard, uh, they said something got messed up. And one year later, I finally got it. So I'm going to show all of you my fantastic night guard. Isn't that cool? I know everybody's excited. They're like, what the hell is this kid doing? Ah, oh, man, check this bad boy out. It's cool. And here's the thing I wanted to bring up about the dentist. They tell me that they're going to charge me $50 if I don't give them a 24-hour notice. I get there about like 15 to 20 minutes early, and I'm sitting there for about 40. So in, in a sense, I believe they should start paying me for wasting my time there. All right, so ta-da, it's in my mouth, and this is how I said with a night card, and isn't this great, folks? <laughs> I just thought you guys should be included in all the glory of a new night guard. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the bulk of the 8 Minutes with Aaron episode because we got a brand new Funko Pop from Amazon, which I am so excited about because it brings back those childhood memories of the Leprechaun. That's right, where's my pot of gold? And here he is now, it he is, I should say open. When he was delivered to my parents' house from Amazon, the box was a little wet, as you can see. And my dad wanted to make sure that the Funko Pop came in nice and perfect so I wouldn't come over and be upset. So the box is perfect. Um, Amazon didn't put it in any kind of secondary box. They didn't put it in a sorter. They didn't put it, you know, they weren't going to put it in a pop protector. What Amazon product ever comes in a pop protector? And yeah, this is the Leprechaun from the Leprechaun movie. I believe there were different variations of the Leprechaun you could have got. I think there was an Amazon exclusive, which is in my hand. I believe there was a common version. And I think there was one where he wasn't bloody up. Maybe that was the common version. And I mean, look, I, I can tell because I'm looking at the Funko Pop that there's a crease in the corner. But if you didn't know, you had, well, if I didn't tell you, you would have never known. But there is, and that bothers me. Um, we will take the Leprechaun out of the box. But first, I wanted to give you some little bits and pieces of the Leprechaun, which is really cool. So Leprechaun had various movies, of course. They had the Leprechaun 1, they had Leprechaun 2, they had Leprechaun 3, they had Leprechaun 4, who was in space. I was aware of Leprechaun 1 and 2. I knew about Leprechaun in space. They also had a Jason in space. That was a terrible movie. And they had Leprechaun in the hood. And then they had Leprechaun 2 back in the hood. I don't recall seeing Leprechaun 2 back in the hood. But I do recall Leprechaun in the hood. And my favorite scene of that movie is uh, there's this guy and he's sitting there and he, I, guess, I guess he stole either one of the gold pieces or he was with a group who stole the gold pieces. And the Leprechaun turns these two fans into like a woman with like really, like really big breasts. And the dude basically goes to put his face in them and his face gets chopped off by the fans. I think it just stood out to me because I was so young and I was saying, oh my God, there's nudity in a movie. <laughs> But that was probably the one thing that I remember about Leprechaun. And I also keep forgetting that Jennifer Aniston was also in the first Leprechaun. So, did the Leprechaun make her famous? I think she was in another movie. Uh, no, that was Christina Applegate, which I was thinking, um, don't tell mom the babysitter is dead. Yeah, that was Christina Applegate. That wasn't uh, Jennifer Aniston. But yeah, she was in Leprechaun. Killing it. So, you know, if some... Now... I would put her on top A tier, was in a Leprechaun movie. Leprechaun movie is a legit franchise, and I'm sure we have not seen the last of the Leprechaun trying to get his gold. And let's take him out because he is looking stylish. I am still waiting on my Ash vs. the Evil Dead from the Mighty Hobby Shop. 
I don't know if I'm gonna order them from them again. And this leprechaun looks cool. I'm gonna hold, oh my God, I didn't even know he was holding a piece of gold. Here you go, everybody, here he is. He's looking neat. I'll do a little turnaround for you guys. I also noticed I may have not have turned the box around, so once I turn him around, I'll, I'll show you the box. The leprechaun looks cool. He's got like a bunch of blood on his face. He has one of his uh, gold coins right there. I love the shoes with the little buckles on top. His, his feet are almost as big as the rest of his body, which is really neat. And the leprechaun movies were pretty good. I, you know, nothing really stood out for me other than the dude's face getting chopped up by, you know, the fake boob fan. But other than that, I mean, he just went through and murdered a bunch of people for stealing his gold. If he had just would have gave it back, everything would have been fine. He gave you plenty of opportunities. You've given me back my shilling and we'll call ourselves even. But no, we gotta be greedy, try to kill this guy, and that is not on my plate of things that you should have done. He could have made you uh, get any wish, right? Don't leprechauns grant wishes? Or is that just genies? Ah, uh, I'll have to look into my book of magical mythical creatures to find out. So as we are getting to the end of 8 Minutes with Aaron, we need to see whether this thing is getting an whoop or it is getting a down. And I did say to you I was going to turn this awesome box around for you before we go, so I will spin it around. And on the back of it, as you can see, it is just uh, the leprechaun. And you see down here how it says Lionsgate? I'm not sure if anyone has actually followed Lionsgate. I'm just kind of like transitioning to another thing real fast before we end this episode. Uh, Lionsgate actually came out with really, really uh, D-list movies when they first came out. Their production quality was awful. Um, you know, you just watch it and you just laugh because how poorly filmed they were. I remember I used to uh, hang out with my friend Alexis. We still hang out. And we used to sit down every Friday and watch a really, really shitty Lionsgate film. Nowadays, Lionsgate is actually doing really well. Uh, the production value has dramatically increased. The storylines, the movies that they put out are on point. So if you ever see a Lionsgate film nowadays and then you watch one from about 10, 15 years ago, you're going to see such a difference. And that's my little, uh, I guess, shout out to Lionsgate. Two thumbs up. You're doing well. Get this next Leprechaun movie uh, because according to the list I'm looking at, we have not had a, oh my goodness, I forgot about two Leprechaun movies. It seems there's Leprechaun Origins and Leprechaun Returns. And I did see the Leprechaun Returns, except it wasn't the same Leprechaun. He was different. He looked completely different and I was shocked and appalled. I didn't like that movie. Now, back to what we were talking about. Will the Leprechaun get an oop or will the Leprechaun get a down? Let's see, let's see, if I had a coin to flip, which would have been very cool and a great addition to this episode, which I don't have. He is getting it up. That's right. It is a green thumbs up for the green hatted leprechaun. So if you ever find a pot of gold, make sure you don't take it because, you know, a crazy leprechaun could come and try to kill you. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave down in the comments what you want to see, what you don't want to see. I will be back probably hopefully tomorrow with a fresh epi. See you later. Later, bye. Later, bye? What's a later, bye?